am in a Serbian Orthodox monastery. It's beautiful. Some amazing artwork and stained glass. I'm here at the uh, Serbian cemetery. This monastery is uh, Sava. It's, uh, it's a beautiful building. I'm not an expert, but uh, this is Yugoslavia. At least many of the uh, the people buried here are. There was a very interesting um, statue here I saw when I came in. It's of a famous general from the uh, Yugoslavic army who fought in World War II. Um, and he, he was active from uh, 1941 in December until 1944 in English Draza Mihailovic was his name. Let's see if I can get a close up here. He, uh, he's personally responsible and his men, his forces, for delivering up to 500 U.S. airmen who were rescued, fallen airmen, and delivered them safely back to the United States during World War II or into safe hands. I don't know much about him other than very sadly, he must have been captured uh, in 1944. That's when it, uh, when he died. And he was uh, apparently killed by firing squad. I assume that's the Nazis. His body was dismembered, thrown into a pit, and uh, they poured acid on his body. I don't know that the uh, location of his remains are, are known by anyone. But uh, there was no mercy in those days. World War II. Um, but the man we're here to see today is named Jake Alex. I think that was kind of his nickname uh, as he fought in World War I, the U.S. Army. His name was Aleska Mandusich Alexa. He received the Medal of Honor for his actions in France in August of 1918. Um, boy, there's a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting graves here. I could just spend the day uh, looking at all these graves. Just here's just one example. Mopco. Can't pronounce. K 
Kaaba. It seems to me the uh, this area of the cemetery is where military people or distinguished high-ranking officials are buried, especially up where Jake Alex is here at the top of this uh, little hill. He, um, there was a really intense part of uh, the battle. This is his, look at that, we've got an American flag. How cool is that? Yes. Look at that under the leaves, there's a stone. Yeah, Jake, there it is. Medal of Honor, U.S. Army. Jake fought, uh, he entered the Army in Chicago. He was in Company H in the 131st Infantry, which was under the 33rd Infantry, uh, Infantry Division. Here's a uh, picture. He died three days, uh, Jake died three days before my birthday, 1959. He, he died on uh, August 28th, on August 28th. Jake was uh, with this platoon and they were in France and they were on the Somme River at a place near what's called Chipilly and uh, they were they were blocked. They were the Germans were on a high ridge, 75 feet up. It was a machine gun nest up there, and uh, it came time when uh, all the officers were either wounded or killed. And Jake stepped up. Jake said, uh, "Let's go. Let's roll." And he led his platoon, or what was left up of his platoon up this hill right in the fire machine guns and we know how murderous those german machine guns were and he charged up and overwhelmed the germans the enemy and uh he led his platoon and he personally killed five enemy soldiers from that nest or in that area until his bayonet broke uh, and he used his rifle, but this is a guy who you would want on your side, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Um, after his bayonet broke, he, uh, he continued the battle and he personally took 15 prisoners. Um, there is not much known what happened to Jake after the war. But uh, I don't know. I'm guessing this is his wife. Machka. 1890 to 1966. Um, this has to be uh, Jake's wife. Well, thank you for your service, sir. And I, we hope that you are resting peacefully with your wife here. Rest in peace.